Hi, my name is Frank Hatzis and I'm with the Rope Dart Academy. This weekend we went over a basic introductory rope dart class that we entitled From Nowhere to Now Here. A lot of times with a rope dart, a lot of beginners don't know where to start. We gave them a starting position and an ending position that they can take and expand on. How we start them out is quite simple. I have them put their non-dominant, or as we call it, the anchor side, foot forward. If that's my forward and that's my backward. My anchor foot's forward, I have a downward swing. This is happening in a wheel plane position. If I was driving a car, it looks like the wheel's on the side of me. When I step forward, I'm going to step into what's known as a wall plane position and change the spin of the dart. And I'll do it one way facing away from you and then facing towards you. I step forward. I'm now in a wall plane position. I step back, wheel plane position, going this way. I have my anchor foot forward, which is my non-dominant or my left foot. I start out with a downward swing in a wheel plane position. I step forward into a wall plane, change the direction of the dart, and then I step back. Notice the step with the stepping, I'm not moving my anchor foot or I'm moving it. I'm not advancing or retreating. I'm pivoting on it. It's here. It's still here. Still here. Now we took that concept, basic principle, and we added an elbow spin to it. I'll show you two different ways of that as well. This is my forward, that's my backward. My anchor or left foot, my non-dominant foot is forward, and I have a downward swing. I bring the dart under my armpit. As that happens, if I step forward, the dart's not gonna fall on me. It's going to swing out. It is the exact same motion here, but I use my armpit. Going this way. Downward swing, anchor foot forward. Under, and now I'm in my wall plane position. To get back, I'm going to lift my lead arm up, my dominant side, my right hand up, almost like I'm punching myself in the chin, and I wanna make sure my elbow is at least at 90 degrees or higher. You don't want it to be low. From here, I wrap and step back. So both of them together look like this. One, two, from this direction. One, two. Now this is a principle of motion that can be applied to other body parts. We can do the same thing with our thigh. Once again, I have my anchor foot forward, which again is my left or my non-dominant side. I have a downward swing. Instead of stepping forward and wrapping my elbow, I'm gonna step forward and wrap my thigh. Doing it this way. Anchor foot forward, downward spin. I use my thigh, and now I'm in my wall plane position. It's the exact same motion. And then I can even do that elbow spin to go back. Thigh, elbow. Thigh, elbow. One more time, thigh elbow. So that was basically the principles of spinning. Next we went over a few shots. The easiest shot that I could think of to teach a beginner is what I like to call a dead prodigal shot. Now this technique is known as prodigal kicks ball, but it's starting from a dead or a sta uh, stationary position. So we call it a dead prodigal kick. and out. I want to make sure that when I step on the dart, the rope is spir spiraling up towards my toes, not down. If I had a down spiral, the rope would get caught when I go to kick it off. So that's something that you need to make sure you're paying attention to. 
with an up spiral, meaning that the dart is wrapping my foot and moving towards my toes. When I kick, it comes right out. It's down. I get the dart on my foot in an up spiral pattern, and I kick out. The dart is down. Up spiral position. And I kick it out. And notice that I don't have to kick. I'm not kicking as hard as I can. I'm merely lifting my thigh, lifting up my thigh, and pointing my toes as I extend my leg. That's pretty much it. Don't go too hard with this. It's not gonna, you're not gonna get the results that you really want with this one initially. Later on when you get comfortable with it, by all means test how fast and how powerful you can do it. We took that concept and we went into a non-dead prodigal. We call this a hanging prodigal. I have my anchor foot forward, a downward swing. I'm gonna do that same up spiral around my foot when that happens, I'm stopping for a second, as I up spiral, I want to hinge at the hip and then kick the dart forward. Watch again. My anchor foot's forward, I have a downward swing. I maintain an, uh, or I establish an up spiral on my foot, hinge at the hip, and kick out. Do it going this way. Anchor foot is forward, downward swing, up spiral, hinge my hip back, and then I kick the dart out. The last shot we did is known as prodigal kicks ball. I've also heard it known as bird kicks branch or a basic foot shot. All of the same principles apply. I have my anchor foot forward, a downward swing. Instead of stalling the dart that we did on the hanging prodigal, I'm literally gonna let it wrap around and then give my foot a little push. And I'll do it this way as well. My anchor foot is forward. I have a downward swing. I'm letting it wrap, I'll stop it. It's wrapping all the way around. And as it comes out towards the direction I want it to go in, I kick my foot out. So that completes everything we did from the nowhere to now here class. If you're interested in learning the rope dart, you should check out ropedarts.com. We are the Rope Dart Academy. It is our job to make learning the rope dart as easy as it possibly is. We have basic instructional videos and we have instructors all over the world. Check out ropedarts.com and get going with your rope dart skills. Have a great day. I had a blast at Wildfire. You guys have been amazing. Thank you so much. I love being home.